Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the medical technologist by Your Tech. In this video, we will discuss about staining methods for fungal smears. The fungal cell wall is located outside the plasma membrane and it is the cell compartment that mediates all the relationship of the cell with the environment. It protects the content of the cell, give rigidity and define the cellular structure. The structure of cell wall. The cell walls are composed mostly of manoprotein and fibrous beta 1 3 glycon. There is also branched beta 1 6 glycon that like the other components of the wall. An important minor component is chitin that contributes to the insolubility of the fibers. Manoproteins are non filamentous glycoproteins localized to the outermost layer of the yeast cell wall. Beta glucons comprise a group of beta D glucose polysaccharides naturally occurring in the cell wall of cereals, bacteria and fungi with significantly differing physiochemical properties depending on the sources. Glucons are arranged in six-sided D glucose rings connected linearly at varying position depending on the source. Chitin. Chitin is a modified polysaccharide that contains nitrogen. It is synthesized from units of N-acetyl D glucosamine. Chitin is the second most abundant polysaccharide in nature after cellulose. It is primary component of cell walls in fungi, especially filamentous and mushroom forming fungi. Fungal smears can be wet mound preparation like KOH preparation or different stains commonly used in the lab like gram stain or Leishman stain for blood smears or special stains like PAS stain, periodic shift stain or GMS silver stain, microscopy. Compound light microscopy are commonly used in the medical laboratory for smears. Negative stains like India ink preparation, negrosin stains are used. Fluorescent microscopy are also used for identification of fungal elements in the smear. Calcofluor white is the commonly used fluorescent stain for fungal smears. Phase contrast microscopy and electron microscopy are rarely used for identification of new fungal infections. KOH preparation. The KOH test or potassium hydroxide preparation is a quick inexpensive fungal test to differentiate dermatophytes and candida albicans. Dermatophytes invades the top layer of the skin, hair and nails. Trichophyton, epidermophyton and microsporum causes infection in skin, nail and hair. The candida yeast infection can also be identified by the KOH preparation by taking scrapings from the mouth, oral trash, vagina, in vaginitis and skin candidiasis. 10 to 20 percent of KOH solution is added to the sample and left for 5 to 15 minutes in order to dissolve the skin cells, hair and debris. Dermatophytes are easily recognized under the microscope by their long branch like tubular structure called hypae. Lactophenol cotton blue staining. LPCB staining is the simple histological staining method used for identification of fungi. The fungal spores, cell walls contain chitin, is stained by lactophenol cotton blue solution for identification. The stain contains three main components. Lactic acid preserves the fungal structures. Phenol acts as a disinfectant by killing any living organisms. Cotton blue gives color to the chitin on the fungal cell wall and other fungal structure. The stain will give fungi a delicate blue color appearance with a pale blue background. Calcofluor white stain. The use of calcofluor white stain with 10% KOH enhances the visualization of fungi in clinical samples of skin, hair and nails. Fungal elements take up the fluorescent dye because it binds to chitin that is found only in fungal cell walls and depending on the combination of filters used appear brilliant green, yellow or blue white. 
the examination of clinical samples one drop of calcofluor white solution and one drop of KOH 10% are added to a specimen on the microscopic slide. A cover slip is placed on top of the mixture and examined under fluorescent microscope. The microscope must have a K532 excitation filter, BG12 barrier filter or a G35 excitation filter, LP420 barrier filter combination. India ink preparation. This is also a wet mount preparation but it's a negative stain. India ink method is useful for demonstrating the presence of capsule. It has been used for the demonstration of cryptococcus neoformans in clinical samples, particularly in CSF. The capsule displaces the colloidal carbon particles in the ink. The capsule appears as a clear halo around the E cells. It is a negative stain. Gram stain. Gram stain is done for most of the samples received in microbiology lab. It differentiates the bacteria into gram positive or gram negative. The most of the yeast cells and other fungal elements are stained as gram positive when they are fresh. Fungal culture media are inoculated when the direct smear gram stain contains fungal elements. PAS stain. Periodic acid shift stain method is used to detect the polysaccharides such as glycogen and muco substances such as glycoprotein, glycolipids and mucins in the tissues. PA stain can be used in combination with diastase, an enzyme that breaks down glycogen. In fungal infection, the cells of fungi stains magenta. Grocots methylamine silver stain, GMS stain, is used widely as staining for fungal organisms. It is particularly useful in staining carbohydrates. GMS stain can be used to identify the yeast like fungus, Pneumocystis journey causes pneumocystosis. The cell wall of these organisms are outlined by the brown to black stain. Romanowski stain. Romanowski type of stains are used to differentiate cells for microscopic examination in pathological specimens, especially blood and bone marrow smears. Combination of eosin and polychromed methylene blue are used in this type of stains. Polychromed methylene blue may contain up to 11 dyes that gives distinctive shades of purple in the chromatin of the cell nucleus and within granules in the cytoplasm of some leukocytes. Eosin part of the stain is responsible for pink orange hue of erythrocytes and granules inside the cytoplasm of eosinophilic cytoplasm. In Romanowski stains, the fungal cells are purple in color when they are fresh. They can be intercellular or extracellular. The combination of Romanowski stains can be used in the diagnostic lab. The commonly used Romanowski stain are Leishman stain, Wright stain, Megranvar stain or Jimsa stain in the clinical lab. HNE stain, hematoxylin and eosin stain is one of the principal tissue stains used in histology. It is the most widely used stain in medical diagnosis. HNE is the combination of two histological stain, hematoxylin and eosin. The hematoxylin stains the cell nuclei as purplish blue and eosin stains the extracellular matrix and cytoplasm in pink. The other structures taking on different shades, hues and combination of these colors. Fresh yeast cells stained in purple color. Musicarmine stain. Musicarmine stain is intended for the use in histological visualization of acid mucopolysaccharides in tissue section. Musicarmine stains the mucopolysaccharide capsule of cryptococcus neoformans in red color. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.